Last year, Louisiana agriculture brought $11 billion into the state's economy. But how much of that was from the processing of those commodities? We find out from Neil Malasa, who is at LSU, for this edition of this week's Bottom Line. The Bottom Line is brought to you by the Cotton Board, strengthening the fiber of our industry. When we think about food products here in Louisiana, we think at first about the taste, right? And where to get our hands on them. That's the simple economy of it, right? You make the food products and you sell them. But there's a lot more to it than that. And as we saw from Avery's story earlier, we can add a lot of value both in terms of real dollars and some less tangible returns. First, let's talk dollars to see how big value add is worth. Out of the state's $11 billion ag industry, added value is $4 billion of that. That covers everything from research to transportation to packaging and all of the various jobs that support the industry. Outside of that number, there's a lot of instances where it's hard to calculate what the programs like the Food Incubator brings in terms of dollars because who knows what wouldn't have been spent in the program if it didn't exist. For instance, with Hanley Salad Dressing, Gay Sandoz says they included a Louisiana-grown product in one of their special additions. Richard Hanley made a strawberry sensation salad dressing. He bought his strawberries from a strawberry farmer in Ponchatoula and made that dressing. So any type of ingredient that they can buy from Louisiana, they do. The other aspect that it brings is the involvement of companies into the LSU campus who not only utilize the equipment, but employ students to do the work. This not only helps them pay tuition, but it gives them invaluable experience outside the classroom that should one day pay off on the job. I know that as a student myself, I gained a great deal from a number of internships I did off campus, and this is a way to bring that on-the-job training right there to LSU. The bottom line is, places like the LSU Ag Center facility here bring more than just the pure research. They're an involvement in the community, the businesses, and the culture here you can't put a price on. Kristen, I'm going to hand it back over to you and I'm going to go inside and get some of that candy before Avery eats it all. <laughs> well, you better get in there quick then. Thanks, Neil. Well, that does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Be sure to join us next week when we'll head into Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen for a great recipe using Louisiana rice. Until then, you can watch all of our stories from this show or past shows on our website, twilatv.org. And keep up with what we're doing via Facebook and Twitter. For all of us here at Twila, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again right here next week.